Welcome back to The Joy of Vinyl. I'm Rick Coast. You know, rabbit holes can run deep, and some go much deeper than others. Now, do a little research on if it's okay to clean your vinyl records with alcohol, and the hole you'll find yourself in has so many twists and turns, you'll come out of it no wiser than you were when you went into it. Now, that being said, the question is a good one, and it deserves an answer. But I'll warn you, though, while this may be the definitive conclusion I've come to, there are counter arguments that will tell you the case is not closed. Now, in this instance, the case involves the cleaning of your vinyl records, more specifically the solution. And by solution, I mean the liquid mixture or formula many will recommend. You can do a quick Google or Amazon search on record cleaning solutions and you will find many results, some of which have been around for decades. Some of those contain a small amount of isopropyl alcohol, others do not. And whichever solution you end up with, there will come a time when you've used it all up and think, you know, why buy another bottle? I'm sure I can make my own. I mean, how hard can it be, right? Well, once you've reached that point, there's no turning back. I know because I've been there many times over the past couple of decades. I've changed the formula at least, I would say, half a dozen times based on advice, rumors, and old wives' tales. The one thing that causes the most debate is whether using isopropyl alcohol on your records is safe. Now, I've used it off and on for years, but I still wonder, have I done irreparable damage on some level? Let's check out some of the arguments against its use. So before we go any further, please note that this concerns the use of isopropyl alcohol in vinyl records. Never use any type of alcohol on shellac records. Those are the old 78s you may have in your collection or have seen in your grandparents' basement or attic. Alcohol can dissolve the shellac record surface and there's no going back from that. So what about vinyl? Can alcohol dissolve that too? To be fair, isopropyl will not damage the polyvinyl chloride which your record is made of. There's a caveat to that statement. The companies which make the PVC and sell it to the record companies each use their own formula. These formulas are closely guarded secrets and the very fact that they are formulas means there's more to the PVC than meets the eye. Those compounds or these compounds contain stabilizers and plasticizers that give the resulting PVC both flexibility and stability. And because we don't know what these additives are, we can't say how the introduction of isopropyl alcohol will react to it. Now, many collectors will argue the alcohol will break down the bonds of these additives to the PVC and destabilize the record. And there are also claims that alcohol will strip a mythical layer of protection from the grooves. I use the term mythical because there are no protective layers added to the pressing it's process. process. It's all PVC, both inside and out, well, along with the additives. Another argument against its use is there's no need for it. Isopropyl evaporates quickly and any cleaning opportunity is lost. Furthermore, it leaves behind some of what was collected from the record surface when it evaporates. Well, fair enough, but that argument assumes a high concentration of alcohol in the solution. So why even consider it given these concerns? The main reason for using isopropyl alcohol as a cleaning agent or as a portion of the agent is its degreasing properties. It's excellent for removing grime and grease. It's also powerful as an antimicrobial when it comes to bacteria and fungi. Although that's not as much of a concern with vinyl records and not why it's used. Many users claim it cleans very well in its diluted form when mixed with distilled water. This was the direction I took when I first began using it. My homemade formula included a mix of distilled water, 91 to 99% isopropyl alcohol, and a few drops of Dawn Gist soap. I no longer use that mix. I will say the records exposed to it have been in my possession for decades and still play exceptionally well. I listened to Prince's Under a Cherry Moon a couple days ago, a copy I bought in 1986, and there's not a hiss or pop on it. So where does this all leave us? Are we any closer to a verdict? Well, yes and no. I know, way to avoid the question, right? Let me explain. I said I'd come to a definitive answer and I have. So here goes. Should you clean your vinyl records using isopropyl alcohol? Drum roll, please. No. 
There are better solutions you can use. Always use distilled water. If you want to try an agent, try Turgiclean, which contains the surfactant Turgital. And why is surfactant? It allows the water and the cleaner to enter the grooves to get to the dust and the grime. Surface tension prevents this without the use of a surfactant. If you don't want to spend the extra money on Turgiclean, mix a few drops of Dawn dish soap into a gallon of distilled water. Dawn is also a surfactant, but not as effective. While isopropyl may not eat through your records like acid, I'd rather err on the side of caution. Repeated use, even diluted, may have adverse long-term effects. If you have to use a degreaser, mix a capful of distilled white vinegar with a gallon of distilled water. With any solution, it's always best to rinse or wash with pure distilled water as a final step. And finally, if you enjoy vinyl records as much as I do, feel free to subscribe. And if you would like to know when new episodes are released, also click the little bell icon that's down below. And until next time, please take care of yourself and enjoy your records.